What's up, everybody? My name is Chris Mohead, a.k.a. Rob Savage, and we're here again at the world-famous My House Restaurant for another episode of 600 Seconds with High Low Art. Y'all clap it up, clap it up. Before we get started, I just want to say make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, man, because today we got a very, very special guest in the building tonight who goes by the name of... Hennessy Williams. Y'all clap it up for Hennessy Williams. Clap it up, clap it up. How you doing today, sir? Doing great, brother. How you doing? I'm doing fantastic, man. What I need you to do is look at that camera right there and let the people know what it is that you do. They call me the R&B Prince, Hennessy Williams, but um, I do a little R&B. I do a lot of Southern Soul, and I just make music. Okay, okay. Um, how'd you get started? How'd you get in music? I got into music at an early age, uh, out of high school. My uh, very first show, I, myself, I was in a group called Infinity, and I opened for Key Sweat in, in H-Town. Okay. Oh man, that's a, that's a great way to start. Then. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, who would you who do you feel like is some of your biggest influences? My biggest influences um, in the old school is Teddy P, newer school, Christopher Williams, Jaheim type vibe. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, where does the stage name come from? Hennessy. Hennessy Williams. I was given that stage name by Lenny Williams. I used to go by Mr. VIP, but I opened up for Lenny Williams at a show in Augusta, Georgia, and my my customary thing was to give out a bottle of Hennessy. And I gave him a bottle of Hennessy, and he said, you're my nephew now. I'm going to call you Hennessy. Hennessy hey. Williams. Legendary, then. Yes, That's, sir. Yeah. <laughs> um, what current projects are you, are you promoting right now? Or? Right now, I'm promoting my um, album or EP, The um, Black Diamond. You can get it on all social media platforms, YouTube. You can ask me for a copy of it, but you need to go get that. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, tell us about that, The Black Diamond. What's the story behind that? It's, the black diamond is it, it derived from myself. You feel what I'm saying? Us as black men, a lot of times we get overlooked in a lot of different aspects of life. You understand what I'm saying? And one day, dealing with some depressing type issues and, and, and things of that nature, just being a regular human as opposed to being Hennessy Williams, I just felt that we're underrated and unappreciated. And I knew I was a diamond. Even if I'm not a diamond to the person I'm with, I'm a diamond to somebody. You feel what I'm saying? Yes, That's sir. how I came up with the, the, the moniker of the black diamond. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah. It's something that we can all relate to as, as black men. Most you know? definitely. Um, tell us about this, this song, Flawless. Flawless, the song I did with Tilt Williams. Tilt is a friend of mine. Um, I came up with this. I got the song, Flawless. A friend of mine sent me the beat. He's an um, esteemed beat maker. And, um, you know, I don't rap or anything like that. But I came up with the hook. Oh, girl, you're looking flawless. And Tilt is a friend of mine. And I said, Tilt, I blessed him with the record. It's yours. Go ahead and do what you got to do. But on the flip side of it, I made it a hip hop album record for him, but I came back and made it an R&B record for me. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, so there's yeah. a flawless part one and a flawless part two. Wow. Yeah, I like that. It's kind of yeah. like an old school vibe to yeah. that. Yeah, I like that. Well, definitely. And uh, do you plan on doing any more hip hop collaborations? I actually have at least 20 just sitting in the chamber. I'm just waiting on one of these cats to call me out on a verse. Okay. Hey, look, if you're looking for a feature, man, I, I, rap, I rap too. I so got you, brother. Throwing we're, it out there. We'll lock it in. We'll lock it in. <laughs> so uh, let us know, what is the difference between Southern Soul and R&B? The difference is the vibe. You, um, the words are pretty much the same. It's just the vibe. The vibe is totally different. When you want to be sexy with your lady, you want to put her feet up on your lap and rub her toes, the R&B. Mm, okay. But when you want to get up and get her to dancing and having a good time, just letting her hair down, Walking around with no shoes on, that's the Southern Soul vibe, you know what I'm saying? It's gotcha. all about you. It's not the music, it's you. Gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. You Depending on what type of vibe Depending on what type of vibe it is, what you're drinking on. Okay, okay. Um, a little bit off of business right now. The people yeah. want to know, what's your favorite movie, man? What you looking at? My favorite movie? Like, I'm, a, I'm not a real big TV guy, uh, but I'm a rock fan, you feel what I'm saying? So I like... I like anything with the rock in it or Will Smith, man. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm old school. I, I like, you know, yeah. big oh, red yeah. dude kind of guy. Man, two, yeah, <laughs> two, two legends right there in their own right, man. Um, if you could work with one creative, dead or alive, who would that be? Dead or alive, Quincy Jones. Quincy Jones. Quincy Jones, right now. 
What, what does that collaboration sound like to you? It sounds like that Secret Garden type stuff, man. You know what I mean? R and B. Yeah, y'all can clap it up for that. Like y'all can definitely clap it up for that. Yeah. Quincy Jones. Kind of stuff. Yeah. Quincy Jones. Icon. Icon. Yeah. Do you have any advice for anybody watching? The biggest advice I can give you: don't trust anybody, but rely on everybody. You feel what I'm saying? And I say that because once you give your trust, you become vulnerable. Rely on these people to make you what you want to be and where you and take you to where you where you need to go. But you don't trust anybody, especially with your business. You do it yourself. You know what I mean? Because I've been there, had every lost everything. You feel what I'm saying? Been there trusting people. I trusted my career in other people's hands. I trusted my money in other people's hands. Lost everything. But with God's help, I got it all back. So I'm, lesson I'm learned. To build on that. Lesson learned. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, um, is there anything else that we didn't cover that you wanted to talk about? No, it's all love to everybody, man. Um, don't, don't, don't lock yourself into one genre. If you can do R&B, you can do Southern Soul. If you can do Southern Soul, you can do rock and roll. You feel what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yeah. Don't lock yourself into one genre and don't ever let anybody tell you no or what you can't do. You feel what I'm saying? So I love it, man. I love Amen. it. I appreciate that. No problem, brother. Um, any final, any final shout-outs you have? Just want to shout out everybody, man. Especially Columbia, South Carolina for having me. Yes, sir. I just want to hello art everybody, man. Thank you. We appreciate it. It's all it. love, man. Uh, one final question. Yeah. Are you going to bless this stage tonight with a performance? Most definitely. All right, then. Y'all give it up for Hennessy Williams. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. You got 60 minutes. I said, God damn it. You got 60 minutes. Long people. 20 minutes. I got to go to the next
can't wait for me. I can get it together. Try to get my together. You can wait for me. I can get it together. Go find you one better. A serious.